Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be factoring a polynomial expression. If you like this video, comment, like, and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell button for notifications. If you don't like the video, please let me know why in the comment section down below. I appreciate all kinds of feedback and let's get started. So we do have x minus y to the fifth power plus y minus z to the fifth power plus z minus x to the fifth power, and we're supposed to factor this. Now, this is a sum. So as it is, you know, it's not like it's not factored and we just need to factor it. One method is obviously you can just go ahead and expand everything, simplify it, you know, combine like terms, so on and so forth. But we're going to be using a different approach. So we're going to use a very powerful method, uh, which is called substitution. So here's the plan. I'm going to call this x minus y here a. Let's call that a. And I'm going to call this b. So... You might be asking, like, why am I not calling the third one C, right? There's no need for that because if you go ahead and add uh, X minus Y and Y minus Z, you actually get X minus Z, right? Okay, so wh what is that supposed to mean? Well, if I'm trying to get Z minus X, it's just the opposite. Therefore, if I just go ahead and add A plus B and put a minus sign in front of it, then this should give me Z minus X, right? Okay, awesome. So basically, what I did here was express everything in terms of a and b. Those are my new variables. And of course, I'm going to go back and back substitute at the end, but let's go ahead and proceed with this information now. So this gives me a nicer expression. Uh, I get a to the fifth power plus b to the fifth power. Now plus uh, minus, so since uh, you're going to be uh, raising a negative one to the fifth power, that's just going to bring a negative here. So I can just go ahead and write it like this. And my expression, the third one, is going to be negative of a plus b. Okay? So this is what I'm getting. So but in other words, if you can factor this, then we've already factored the original expression. But how do you factor this? Well, first of all, if you think about it, a plus b quantity to the fifth power can be expanded using the binomial theorem. So let's go ahead and do that. a to the fifth plus b to the fifth minus. Now, I should be getting from Pascal's triangle, the coefficients are... Uh, 5, 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1, right? 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. You know that this is the fifth row of the Pascal's triangle. So I should be getting something like a to the fifth plus 5a to the fourth b plus 10a cubed b squared plus 10a squared b cubed. You see the symmetry here? Plus 5ab to the fourth. And then finally we'll get b to the fifth. Awesome. Now, this, uh, this is a very long expression, obviously, which has, you know, six terms, but it's going to simplify. Now, especially when you subtract this type of thing from a to the fifth plus b to the fifth, you're going to get something nice. That's the whole purpose. So let's go ahead and proceed with that. Uh, when we expand it, obviously, you're going to notice that a to the fifth and a to the fifth cancels out, and b to the fifth and b to the fifth cancels out, because they're going to be negated. So everything is going to be uh, with a, has a negative sign. So I might as well just keep that negative sign on the outside. Just not bother that. So uh, the rest of the expression. Now, what I'd like to do here is I want to bring these two together because they're kind of like, um, you know, symmetrical somewhat. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to let me rewrite it first and then I'll do that in the next step. 5ab to the fourth plus then, of course, uh, naturally these two are going to stay together, right? And because of the coefficients and the powers, there's, re there's a reason we, we, why we do that. Now, what I'm going to do is uh, I'd like to factor this kind of like grouping way. Uh, these two have a common factor of maybe I can just use brackets here, make it a little, uh, you know, a little better looking. So uh, what I can do is I can take out a 5ab here. Then I should be getting a cubed plus b cubed. And then plus, uh, for this one, the common factor is going to be 10a squared b squared. And then I should be getting a plus b. Okay, cool. Now, this expression needs to be factored. And then we're going to go back and uh, back substitute. Okay. How am I going to factor this? Well, notice that a cubed plus b cubed is factorable. And it actually contains, uh, it actually contains the uh, a plus b. So... And there's a moreover, okay, let's take one thing at a time. So let's go ahead and do this first. Uh, I'd like to break this down into a plus b and then a squared minus a b plus b squared and then plus 10 a squared b squared 
multiply by a plus b. Okay. Now, what I'd like to notice is that I do have, okay, here, and a plus b is a common factor, obviously, but there are more common factors because I also have the 5 and the a and the b. So put it all together with the negative sign, you'll have a common factor of negative 5ab multiplied by a plus b, right? Okay, so this is what you should be getting from there. And then uh, if you take care of the rest, what do we have left? We have a squared minus ab plus b squared. And then from here, I, I'm trying to get the 10a squared b squared by multiplying it by negative 5ab. So I should have a minus, right? That should be a minus sign, right? Because I want to get a positive. Well, actually, no, that's not true because the negative is all the way on the outside. So I'm basically trying to focus inside. So I should have a positive sign here rather because the negative stays outside. Uh, and that should be a positive 2ab. Awesome. Okay, here we go. Now, I think this is it, right? We, we took out the 5ab, a plus b. So this should be good. Um, and then plus 2ab, when I distribute that, it should give me that. Of course, like I said earlier, uh, if you want, you can put the negative sign all the way outside like this, but that's not necessary. Anyways, so this is my expression and it's pretty much factored except for the fact that, you know, I just got to take care of the last one. And of course, these are like terms, so I can go ahead and add them. And that should give me a squared plus ab plus b squared. Awesome. Nice. Now, so my expression is basically factored. This is in the factor form. And as you know, and we've seen this in other videos as well, a squared plus ab plus b squared is the sum of two squares and it cannot be factored. It doesn't have any real roots. So that's it. Okay, everything here is good. So let's go ahead and back substitute. So what did we call A and what did we call B, right? Well, if you remember, our initial substitution was A is equal to X minus Y and B is equal to Y minus Z. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to go ahead and back substitute everything and then get uh, my final answer. So. 5, uh, negative 5 AB. AB would be X minus Y times Y minus Z. And then I do have A plus B. Remember that A plus B is not our uh, original expression. It was the opposite of that, but that's okay. X, X, A plus B is just going to be X minus Z. So it's, this is going to look like X minus Z. With the minus sign, you can always turn it into a Y minus Z, of course. I mean, Z minus X. Okay. What about, what about this one? This one uh, needs some work to do. So let's go ahead and do that here. A squared is going to be X minus Y squared plus AB is X minus Y times Y minus Z. And then B squared is just going to be Y minus Z quantity squared. All right, cool. Now what I can do is um, I can go ahead and multiply the negative one by X minus Z so that it looks more like our original expression, which is X minus Z, X minus Y. Okay, you must up here. X minus Y y minus z and z minus x. Remember, in our original expression, these were the uh, terms in the sum, right? To the fifth powers, of course. Now, what am I going to do here? Uh, well, I should be getting from here, I should be getting something like x squared minus 2xy plus y squared. Then if I distribute this, I'll get xy minus xz minus y squared plus yz. And then I should be getting plus y squared minus 2yz plus z squared. So that should be the whole thing. Now, let's see if we can simplify this. Well, y squared minus y squared, that's definitely going to cancel out. So I'll end up with x squared, y squared, and z squared. So I'm going to be having one of each squares. Let's go ahead and rewrite it. So this is my three factors. And then I have x squared. And then we said that we have a y squared, right? and then plus z squared. And let's see what else we can combine together. Well, it looks like we have a negative 2xy plus xy, which is going to make negative xy. So I've taken care of these. I've taken care of these. Let's go ahead and keep track of that so we don't lose anything. And then we have the negative xz, right? So that's just going to come by itself. And then we have a yz minus 2yz, which gives us a negative yz. So now the picture is complete. Okay. Awesome. So our original expression, once again, was x minus y to the fifth power plus y minus z to the fifth power plus z minus x to the fifth power. And it's just factored like this. 
And this basically concludes our video. All right. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.